How did you end up with uh, Baby Doll as your manager? Well, we just we came up with uh, instead of having another manager, you know, having a valet, and uh, instead of just bringing one in, we we had a perfect ten contest, and uh, get on TV every week and said, "I'm looking for the world's perfect woman that I can travel with and show off and put on television and blah 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 blah." We did that for. Uh, I guess six weeks, two months, something like that, and the the pictures and and everything that that got sent in were just uh, uh, pretty. It was pretty neat time, and um, uh, you know, and then and Nicola Roberts was was the perfect the perfect woman for it. Was she literally someone that had applied through the contest? No, she was uh, second generation. Her mom and dad both wrestled, and they promoted in Lubbock for the Funks. Okay. And she was just starting her wrestling career. And um, so I, we were, we were in 1984, I think it was Christmas week, we had, because of Eddie Graham's relationship with Dusty, we had gone down to do a, a, a Christmas week thing in Florida uh, to help uh, Eddie Graham. And it was, uh, Nicola was booked down there. And the minute I saw her and Dusty saw her, it was, we knew who Baby Doll was. And uh, the main thing people remember about that baby doll uh, having her around was the infamous uh, slap angle that you guys did. And I'm just wondering, was, was that a good booking idea of Dusty's and yours combined? Or whose idea was it for that? Um, for when I slapped her? Yeah. No, we were switching her baby face. Right. So, I mean, it was, it was a very logical way to do it. Um, I'm not sure who came up with the idea, but it was uh, a way to switch her baby face. It was exciting. It was a way to get J.J. Dillon as my manager and uh, move the company along. What was the fan reaction to that when that happened? Uh, oh, it was, I mean, it was, you know, striking a woman, uh, even though she was tougher than me. Uh, was still pretty raunchy, but uh, uh, did you have any issues with fan attacks around that time? Uh, we had uh, there were a couple of times that uh, I'd had people throw stuff through windows of my car windows, leaving buildings when she was my valet. Um, and then there were times at the arenas that, uh, you know, her getting attacked outside the ring, which was, uh, pretty tough. Uh, I know in, in Hampton, Virginia, uh, she got attacked by some guy and, and knocked, she knocked him out. So, uh, uh, then we had to stay in press. She not she he got whipped by a woman. He was he was a navy guy. He got beat up by a woman. Then then she had him arrested. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, and you mentioned of course J.J. Dillon uh, became your manager after that. That led into the Four Horsemen 